Hi there, this is Alex from Enable Play. Today we're gonna do a tutorial on how to set up for using the Enable Controller Mini for Makers Making Change with an Enable Play controller and a Titan One in order to play on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so a couple things you need, obviously you need a Nintendo Switch, some sort of adapter that plugs into the Switch to have USB ports, or you can use the dock uh, as well, but you need these ports to plug the Titan into. You need a Titan One, um, controller here, you need the Enable Play, or, sorry, you need the Enable Play controller, you need the Enable Controller Mini for Makers Making Change, and any switch buttons that you want to use to plug in here. In this case, I'm using a Logitech G Switch. You then also need a mobile device running the Enable Play app, and a Windows machine, ideally a laptop, with two USB ports running the Max Aim DI plugin from the Titan One's uh, G Tuner app. It's a plugin for that app, which lets you set up different control layouts to map keyboards to uh, the control outputs. And lastly, you need some sort of other controller like a Nintendo Switch Pro controller, or like I'm using a PlayStation 5 controller here in order to plug that into the um, uh, Titan One as well. It's a lot of different things and it's quite a messy setup. So the order in which we plug things in can also matter. So we're gonna go through step-by-step step here on the setup. So first things first, take your Enable Controller Mini for Makers Making Change. It needs to be set up for keyboards. So this has like the A and B and then the C and D uh, ports here. It doesn't support using the controller output. It has to be the keyboard one, uh, which we'll then be using to map in the Enable Play app. So for example, we have when you press the A key on an external keyboard, it will press the space bar button which is also then talking to the Titan One. So it's important that that's in keyboard setup. And I have my switch plugged into my A, so that in the control builder over there, uh, that's how it's set up. So the first thing we're gonna do is plug the Enable Controller Mini into the Enable Play into any of these USB-A ports on the front. Uh, so I can take this and then plug it into either the blues or the blacks, doesn't really matter, uh, and plug that in. And only after that's plugged in, I'm going to take the Enable Play controller and plug it into the laptop. Uh, so into the uh, Windows machine that has the console tuners uh, Max Aim DI plugin. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. And then this will take just a couple minutes to get set up. Uh, not even really a couple minutes, a couple seconds to turn on. And then if we go back to our app, to our devices, uh, mine is called the, the devices demo. You can see I'm at least connected to Bluetooth, but it's still getting connected online. Uh, but my profile is the one that I have set up with the mapping the A button uh, to the space bar. So now with these plugged in, we need to set up the Titan One for the Nintendo Switch. So the first thing I like to do is actually plug my controller into the back of this. So again, I've got a PlayStation 5 controller, uh, but if you've got a Pro controller uh, from the Nintendo Switch, that's fine as well. So I'm just gonna bring that into frame here and take the cable and that's what's gonna plug in right here. Now I plug this port here with this cable all the way down, so the one coming out the side, uh, into the uh, same computer that the Enable Play controller is plugged into. So this cable is the same as this one on the side. So I'm gonna take it and plug it in over here. And now we've got our lights. So now this side of the USB port, I need to plug into the Nintendo Switch. So again, if you have the dock, you can plug it in right here, uh, but I'm not using it in a dock so I can actually show you the screen a little bit more easily. Uh, and so instead I've got a converter plugged in. I'll just move this controller out of the way. I've got a converter plugged in so I can just plug it into this. And now I'll boot up my Nintendo Switch. And I can still use my Joy-Cons um, regularly as well, but it'll act as a second player uh, for whatever the Titan is in. The other thing you need to make sure you have is in your system settings down into the controllers and sensors is make sure you have pro controller wired communication turned on. That's what allows the Titan one to act uh, as a pro controller wired. So you need to make sure basically that's plugged in. Um, so with all of this set up now, I need to use the Max Aim DI app uh, or plugin in order to map the different controls from the Enable Play controller which we can also see is now connected online to, uh, and map it to whatever I want to have as the controller output. So, for example, here is my Max Aim DI setup. Uh, this is what the plugin looks like. 
and I have things like the space bar mapped to the A button. Uh, in this case, it looks like a PlayStation controller, but it'll map properly on the, the Nintendo Switch as well. So I have all these different key buttons. So like these are the arrow keys, WASD, this is mouse movement, escape, and then the triggers are nine, zero, seven, and eight. Um, and that's really all that I need. And so to get started, I need to click enter capture mode, and then I can use the enable play controller as well as the keyboard and mouse of this computer as an input along with this actual controller. So now I've got all these things all at the same time uh, acting as the same inputs where I've got the enabled controller mini, which has the switches talking to enable play, which is talking to the laptop, which is talking to this plugin, which talks to the Titan one, which talks to the Nintendo switch at the same time as the regular controller is. So now I've got a controller, I've got voice and face and virtual buttons with enable play. I've got physical switches, through the Enable Controller Mini, and I can use the Enable Play app to map any of these, and then I can use the Max AMDI app to map everything else for whatever the final output is, and that's really the full setup. Let me know if you have any questions or have any trouble in the setup in the comments, or join our Discord and ask questions in the Need Help section. Uh, but basically, that's all the, the crazy setup that you have to do to, to really get started with the switches from the Enable Controller Mini, all the Enable Play stuff, plus the Titan One uh, to play on the Nintendo Switch. If you wanted to do the same thing on an Xbox or a PlayStation instead of the Nintendo Switch, you can basically take the Titan 1 and plug it into your Xbox and take the Titan 1 and plug it into your PlayStation. But I believe for those, you also specifically need to have the right controllers. So for PlayStation, you still need a PlayStation controller and for Xbox, you still need an Xbox controller. Uh, but otherwise it's the exact same setup. It's the enable play to the laptop anything else into the Enable Play, talking to the Max DI, which talks to the Titan, and that talks to whatever console you want. So again, thanks for watching, uh, and feel free to join us in Discord and ask more questions. Thanks.